Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering the line selectability functionality in table control with wizard. We can select single line, we can go for multiple lines. So what we did, we simply took a extra column in the table control internal table. We passed that column to line selectability. If you remember, when we created the table control with Wizard, I passed SEL column to the line selectability. And yes, I choose multiple. It means we can select multiple rows. Now what we will do? Now I will create a button here. Whenever user will select the rows and click on to that button, the rows, whatever the rows we selected, that will store into that table, that, that will store into a table and those items will be removed from the table control. This simple example, suppose I have for order number one, three line items. Suppose for order number one and two, this order number one and two, we already received the payment. Then user will select the rows and whenever user will click on to receive payment button or move button, whatever the functionality will be there, those line item will store into one Z table, Z database table. And after that, only one line item will be there. We will delete those line items from the table control also and we will store into our database table. So what I will do? Firstly, I will create a button and I will create a database table. Then we will start with the logic part. So I will go to screen. This is our screen. I will go to screen painter and create a button. So I will go to layout and I will create a button. And this is most common functionality from the project is selecting the rows in table control. And after that, it depends upon the requirement of the project. Suppose I will create a button here. You can create here also. It's totally your wish. Suppose I will create here itself. I will give some name to the button. Suppose payment underscore BTN. I will give that text. Suppose I will say received payment. Now every button has a function code. So I will give the function code. Suppose payment is. Okay. I will simply save and close. Now I will activate up to this level. I will go to display mode and I will activate. Now I will create a database table in which those rows will get stored. Suppose now if I will run this and show you up to this level. Now you can see we have a button received payment. Suppose user is giving the order input order number one. Whenever user will click on to the submit button, line items will display. Whenever user will select the rows and click on to received payment, it means for those line items, we received the payment. It means those line items we need to store into one Z table or whatever the table we will create. Now, in the table, what we will store? We will store order number, 
order item number order item number is compulsory because for a order number we have multiple line items because it might be the case that we have not received the payment for all the line items so we need to store the line items compulsory now i will store the item cost so we will go for these three things because any this order number and order item number is the most most important thing so i will create a table first letter should be z or y suppose z t payment suppose i will go for create I will say received payment table. Order received payment. Now I will take that delivery class as A. I will not take C. A means if your, your program will put that data into this table, we will not maintain through SN30 transaction codes. So we will store transaction data from the program. Your data will go to this database table. We are not going for table maintenance generator and we will not maintain through SM30. Our program will insert that data into this table. So I will take the delivery class as A. Display maintenance allowed. And you all know delivery class A is for master and transaction data. The first column in that table is MA and DT. Now the data element for MA and DT is MA and DT itself. I will go for order number. I will copy the data element from order header table itself. This is the data element for order number. Now we will go for order item number. Order item number is compulsory because you are storing multiple records for a order number. If you will only take order number, how you will store duplicate records of a order number? So along with order number, we need to take order item number so that both will act as a primary key. Now, what is the data element for order item number? I will copy. This is the data element for order item number. Now, I will store item cost also. This is our data element for item cost. Now these two compulsory should be the primary key. If you will only take order number as a primary key, how you can store duplicate records of a order number? But we need to store 110 also. We need to store 120 also. So we will take these two as the primary key. I will go to technical settings. Yes. I will save it as a local object. We'll go for data class. I will take a double P L one, which is for transaction data. I will take the size category as zero. I will say, I will go to back button and I will activate that table. I will go for OK. I think I need to pass reference table and reference field. I took a amount field, but I have not passed. I'll pass from the existing table itself. This is our existing table. I will pass the reference from order header table itself. You can pass the reference from any existing table. It's totally your wish. So now the table is activated. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, now what we are doing, whenever user will select the rows, 
and click on to receive payment button. We will store those records into a database table. So firstly, we created the button received payment. Then we created that table. In that table, we took three columns, order number, order number, order item number and item cost. We took order number and order item number as the primary key because we want to store the duplicate records of a order number. So both will act as a primary key of the table. And we took the delivery class as A because we will store the data from the program to the database table. It will store the transaction data. We will not maintain through SN30 transaction code. So I took the delivery class as A. In the next video, we will firstly see in the debugging mode how, how we can store that data into the database table. That is important part because whenever we will select the rows, system should identify that these are the selected rows. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.